welcome back bros to another video review and today we have an item that is hot off the truck off the amazon truck is what i'm saying it is the transformers rise of the beast optimus primal beast alliance arrow strike two pack for the contents inside of this packaging first of all we get the figure optimus primal himself and then we also get his beast alliance companion arrow strike followed by the manual for transforming instructions so here we are zoomed in to take a look at the details on this figure now i just want to start off and let's take a look at the weaponizer arrow strike first as you can see he does sort of remind us of tigatron but a new updated um form i guess you could say or a new mold he looks very good you can see some gray plastic or silver plastic on the belly. You have the painted details on the face. You have the green on the eyes. And then other than that, that's all we get for him. But let's turn our attention to Optimus Primal himself. Looking at this figure, it is nothing but black, uh, charcoal gray, and regular gray plastic. And it looks incredible. Um, I like the head scope on this figure. It reminds me of Optimal Optimus from the Beast Wars cartoon, but kind of like with a twist because we know it is the Paramount movie version of it. It still looks good. Optimus Prime looks not only beefy, but also muscular. So, so far I am liking the way this figure is looking and he continues that paint color scheme on down to the legs. And this figure, to me, just looks very gorgeous. So for the articulation, we're going to start off with the tiger, who is Arrow Stripe. So Arrow Stripe's head can look up and down. As you can see, it's a little bit of pivot. The legs can go forward, both of them. They have no issue, but they cannot go backwards. The hind legs are stuck in this permanent position, but the tail can move up and down. And that's because of its gimmick to become a weaponizer. So we'll put him back. And now it's time for Optimus Primal. As you can see, Optimus Primal, his shoulder can go all the way up and it snaps in place. And that's due to transformation. It is a full 360 for the shoulder. The elbow does a full 360 because it is on a ball joint. There is no wrist swivel because that's molded into the forearm. The leg can kick up this high. You can get some crazy uh, broken bone poses if you would like. The knee bends about 45 degrees, as you can see. And then the leg kicks out this far. So I don't know why you would do that. But yes, you can also bend it back to get those funky broken leg formations or poses. In addition to that, it, it has the foot swivel due to articulation. And then, unfortunately, it does not have a waist swivel, even though it looks like it could. But as you see right here, it is demolded in plastic for the back of the figure. And then the head has no type of articulation because it is also molded plastic into the transformation gimmick. So for comparisons, here we have the Beast Alliance Arrow Stripe and Optimus Primal side by side compared to the Legacy Evolution Grimlock Core Class and also the Grimlock alpha bravo which could be found at family dollar and possibly dollar general but just looking at these figure as a whole now you can see how big this figure really is compared to the other figures in various transformer lines yes i bought this thinking it was going to scale well with the core class but boy what of a surprise and i was wrong it is much bigger than what i expected it to be and for my last comparison, here I have a mix of figures that I wanted to show off and display. As you can see right here, we've got the Beast Alliance 2-pack in the middle, which is Optimus Primal and Arrow Stripe. And then we also have the Rise of the Beast also. The only figure I have open currently is Core Class RC. And then behind that, we have the Studio Series 36 Optimus Primal from the Bumblebee movie. And lastly, we're rounding it out with the Legacy Evolution Core Class Scrapnel so that you can see he's right spot on a hair under the smallest deluxe size 
for the figure scaling that we currently have in other lines. So before we get to the transformation, I just want to show off the Beast Alliance gimmick with Arrow Stripe. Now, yes, Arrow Stripe is a lot smaller than he should be. A tiger should be almost the same size as Optimus Primal, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and do this. So basically what you do is you pull off at the front legs. You split. It wants you to fold, fold the head for the tiger up in here. Now it wants you to turn the legs this way and turn the legs this way. So now you have completed the steps for the weapon and you could just plug it in his hand. And now he has that crossbow uh, tiger, which is arrow strike in his possession. So now it's time for transformation. So first off, what you do is you pull the headpiece down like this. You rotate it right here at the waist. There is a rotation. Fold it back up. That gives us Optimus Primal's face. Fold the shoulder pads down. And then for the feet, kind of like we did for the Optimus Primal Kingdom figure, you just go back up like this and rotate the feet. And this takes about seven steps. And now you're done. Now you have Optimus Primal in his gorilla mode. And he looks pretty cool. So now that we have Optimus Primal transformed into his alt gorilla mode, Optimus Primal looks menacing in my opinion. For this figure right here, the head sculpt has a ton of detail and is in very impressive in my opinion. Now, it's so impressive that it might possibly haunt me in my nightmares, but that's another story. But the Optimus Primal's chest looks reminiscent to a real gorilla. Not only that, he has the little bit of the belly down there that we think they may have in the anatomy. Now looking at the shoulders, the shoulder pads have that smooth gorilla skin on the outside and then that mechanical detail on the lower regions and bottoms of it to make out the shoulder pad what makes it cool. Not only that, you have the also silver plastic on the outside of the gorilla's forearms to give it that metallic looking transformer. And then continue on down to the lower region, you have the gorilla legs and then you have the leftover uh, shins from robot mode and the gorilla toes that looks good and yes we have all five toes thank you hasbro so here we are for a comparison it's the only comparison that matters here we have the rise of the beast optimus primal versus the kingdom optimus primal and i do want to say that they both look good together and you can tell which one is more detailed and more stylized for the movie it's very obvious but anyway, just comparing the two together, I see where they got some of the aesthetics and some of the design in the skin and the fur or the hair of the gorilla. Not only that, they just look good together. Now, yes, this figure right here is not a studio series. So I know when they release the studio series of Optimus Primal, we will get some of the same articulation as we got with the Kingdom Optimus Primal. And for my last comparison, here we have Optimus Primal from the Beast Alliance with the Studio Series Core Class RC. Now, I do feel like this scale is a little off, but we will hopefully eventually get a Rise of the Beast Studio Series Deluxe Size RC would be pretty cool. But anyway, this is just to show off the scaling on the two figures that I have opened from this line. So now it's time for the Yabro figure rating where I like to grade the figures and let you know if it is a pickup or a pass in my opinion. The first category in the Yabro rating system is the paint details. And the paint details on this figure, I'm going to say, is actually okay. It's not too bad and it's not really that great. Now, I will say that predominantly the figure is molded in like a silver slash charcoal gray plastic which works well for the figure, and we know that it represents a gorilla, so the plastic choice is a good choice. Now, there is paint details within the eyes of the gorilla, and not only that, there is also paint details on the forearms, on the shins, and also on the chest regions for, like, clips or whatever on top of his chest, 
But other than that, there's not really much more paint details other than the molded plastic being in that charcoal color. So with all that being said, I got to give it like a, a B plus. The next category in the Yarebro figure grading system is the molding. And the molding on this figure, in my opinion, is very impressive. It has a ton of detail all over this figure. Just to name a few body parts, you got the upper thighs, you got the lower shins, you got the toes, you got the forearms where the joint is in his arm. You got additional in the chest with all this circuitry. And I don't know what the circle is, but only time will tell when the movie appears. Not only that, in his face. So yes, this is a terrific mold in my opinion. And it has a ton of details. Yes, unfortunately, I do not know if it is screen accurate because I have not seen the movie. But only time will tell. So yes, in my opinion, this figure gets a grade of an A. So the last category is the playability and execution. And I feel like this figure has a ton of playability, whether in gorilla mode or in robot mode. As you can see right there, it has posable and you can stand it in any kind of way you want with the articulation, which is slightly limited on this figure, but yet it is still cool and fun to play with. Now, when it comes to the posability, it is limited in that there is no head swivel and there is no waist swivel but unfortunately that doesn't hinder the figure it makes it cool because it comes with a weaponizer gimmick where we can turn the beast alliance arrow strike into a crossbow and not only that we can also put blast effects at the end of the crossbow to make it appear as if it is firing Unfortunately, I cannot comment on the accuracy of this figure compared to the movie CGI of Optimus Primal because I haven't seen the movie and I haven't seen enough footage to see if this is an accurate representation of Optimus Primal. But overall, I am happy for what I received from this figure and how it turned out. So with all that being said, I have to give this category an A+. So if you're interested in picking up a copy of this figure, the link will be posted below in my description. But I end up finding this copy of my figure at Amazon.com where I paid $14.94 plus taxes, which was shipped to me today. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. By doing these four actions, it shows my channel a tremendous amount of support and also positive feedback. Not only that, it helps me on my journey to being monetized one day. Thank you once again for spending your time watching my video. Until next time, yeah bro, I'll see you soon.